6.30 a.m. start, nice and calm. Just uh, coming up to Nopolo, the fishing village, and the uh, exit from the San Jose Channel. Uh, four boats left, San Evaristo, um, probably all making for Agua Verde, about um, oh, six and a half hours. And if that anchorage is full, um, I'll probably push on to Porto Escondido, which is about another three and a half hours. So um, whatever happens, I should be in somewhere before dark, which is always nice. It was another calm night in uh, San Evaristo, which was nice. And um, although it looks like Agua Verde is going to get two nights of um, westerlies, uh, maybe 10 to 13 knots, uh, the anchorage is fairly well protected from them, but um, you still suffer the effects of the wind. Uh, no westerlies in Puerto Escondido. So um, we'll see what happens, see how many people are in the anchorage. If I can get into the north end, I'll um, probably stop in Agua Verde. I'm not sure whether you can see this because it's a long way off, but there is a blue whale surfacing off in the uh, distance there. It's come up a couple of times and it's come up again. And uh, I think it's going to come up um, one more time. If you're watching this on a phone, probably not going to be able to see it. If you're watching it on a TV, um, maybe you can see it. Um, I hope so. Otherwise, it's just um, sun scorched cliff. Another calm day, flat calm, heading into the wind as always. I am getting a little bit of drive off the uh, mainsail, but not much. Um, motor sailing again. just past Porto Los Gatos and there were it's a um, fairly open anchorage you won't be able to see it it's way in the distance there but there were uh, three boats in there I'm hoping as there's only three in there which isn't many there's not going to be that many boats in um, Agua Verde but I could be horribly wrong um, the boats I left with this morning are uh, off in the distance uh, they must be trying to just sail it, which will take an age. Um, the maximum wind's been, I don't know, six or eight knots. Uh, it'll probably take them 10, 12 hours. Uh, I can't be doing with that. <laughs> That's what an engine's for. I'm probably going to be there in another two and a half hours, maybe. And uh, could it, might even do the trip in six hours given that it's been this calm. One of my favorite places, Angua Verde. I'm looking forward to getting there. Once again, no dolphins. Um, but I did see that blue whale, which may have showed up on the video, but I doubt it. It was a fair way off. Going to need to fill up the jerry jugs uh, one more time, uh, about 35 gallons. And I think that will be it for this year. I've got now enough in the tanks to uh, finish the cruising season. And here is where we're headed. Uh, only a couple of hours to go now. As you can see, I'm making quite good speed because this everything's calm.
Well, I got here in uh, six hours, which is a bit quicker than I anticipated. But it was a very tight spot to get into. I'm in 20 feet of water, quite close to the shore. Boats all around me. As you can see, another one there. However, we're expecting a 15 knot southwesterly tonight, which is going to come from that direction. So I'm going to swing the other way out into the middle, but hopefully be under the shelter of these two cliffs. So it could be the ideal spot. Nobody complained that I'm anchored too close, <laughs> which is always a good thing. Although I think everybody's down below. Uh, I think the others that were sailing with me gave up. Um, they've gone into Porto Los Gatos, which is about halfway here, uh, which is also a good west wind anchorage, so that's fine. And they'll probably come up tomorrow. There's a few boats anchored off the beach and I spotted two boats down in the south anchorage, which, um, yeah, that's okay for southwesterlies as well. So all in all, good day. Perfect, as planned. <laughs> Fortunately, it's, uh, the wind has swung round to the uh, south so far, and uh, it'll swing further to the southwest and west later on this evening when the weather comes. So um, I think it's gonna be a good spot. I like it when a plan works. Agua Verde Anchorage from the hill. The only issue at the moment is there are thousands of bobos that constantly want to land on you. I can see about 10 on my hands taking this video. And there's Milagro second in. This is the road in from the village and the last time I was here they um, repaired this I had to stop the erosion but didn't put a pipe in so all that's happened is the uh, water's found another way of running off the hill all it needed was a pipe under the ground uh, shooting out the other side but you can see all the debris that's gone down through there As soon as you walk in land, the heat uh, comes up very quickly. There's uh, within a hundred meters of the beach. There's a total difference. That sea breeze really calms things, uh, cools things down a lot. Successful trip to the mini market. Some fresh fruit, um, some Milky Ways. Most important and some bits and pieces, mainly snack stuff, they didn't have um, very much there, but it's a little top up, that's all I need. <laughs> 